Using the Public Library Catalog. Hello. Today we are going to look at using a public library catalog. The first thing I want to do is find my public library's website. I use the King County Library, so I'm going to use Google to search for that. I will look at my search results and click on King County Library System to go to their website. Here is King County Library System's website. There are navigation tabs at the top of the home page and there are a lot of links all over the website. The navigation tabs and links point to the different services that the King County Library System offers. If we explore navigation tabs, we will see that the King County Library System offers things like ebooks, regular books, help using the library, classes and programs for children, teens, adults, computer classes, summer learning classes, and special kids and teens programs, and also learning and research. One of the navigation tabs is a link to the catalog. I'm going to click on that to access the King County Library System catalog. Next, we will see a search box. This is where you will type keywords to do a catalog search. But this page is not only for catalog searches. Quite a few other things are highlighted here. You can see recently reviewed books, books that people are writing reviews about, or recently reviewed DVDs and music. So as you can see, you can get many different things from your public library. Let's do a search by keyword. There are other search options. For example, if you know the title of the book you are looking for, you can search by title. Or if you want things by a particular author, you could search by author. But I'm looking for a book on resume building for a job. So I'm going to do a keyword search using the keywords resume and job. My search has given me 362 results. Each of the results represents a book that the King County Library System offers. On the left of my screen, I can filter my results using different kinds of filters. For example, I can look for a certain format such as a book, audiobook, or a movie. I can also narrow the search by filtering by author or language. I can also narrow by location. And I'm going to filter my search to my local library, the North Bend Library, because even though the King County Library System has many locations, I want a book that I can get right away. After I filter my search, I see there are 26 books. The first book is called Expert Resumes for Computer and Web Jobs. I'm not interested in a web job, so I'm going to keep looking. Here is a book for resumes for re-entering the job market. That might work. I'm going to click on the title and read a little bit more information about the book so I can decide if it's right for me. If I decide I want this book, I can either place a hold on it by entering in my King County Library System barcode number from my library card, or I could print this out and run down to my library and check it out. When I got to the library, I could ask the librarian for help finding the book, or just go to the shelf, look for this call number, and find the book myself. Let's do one more search, just to make sure we've got the hang of it. Perhaps I also want to build a deck off my house, but I don't know how to do it. So I need to search for a book using deck building as a keyword. This time, I want a title that I can access online, because I don't want to go to the library. I just want to access it right now. To find a book online, I will set the filter to include ebooks. 
My search results show that there are three ebooks that fit my search. The first book is called Here's How Decks Build Your Own Deck in 12 Easy Steps. This is an ebook or electronic book, which means that I can get this now. To access this book, I click on the title. On the left of my screen, I can request to download this book. To do this, I would just enter in my barcode number and password. Then I would have access to this book instantly. You have learned how to use the King County Library System Catalog. Now it's your turn to explore your local library catalog. If you have any questions, please ask your local librarian or your teacher. You can also watch this video again if you need help.